That's right. You know what time it is. Sunday devotion. Yeah, 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 yeah. So check this out. Today we're going to be talking about 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 4 to 5. Alrighty. So the weapons we fight with are not the weapons of the world. On the contrary, they have divine power to demolish strongholds. Verse 5. We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. So the first thing I want to point out is weapons. More than one, right? Another thing I want to point out is divine power. Divine power, what is that? That comes from God. So they no other power better than that, right? And then demolish strongholds. What is a stronghold? It's something that just got you from the... And it just won't let you go. And it could be anything. It could be gossip. It could be lying. It could be porn. It could be um, anything that has a hold of you. Verse 5 says, We demolish arguments and every pretension that sets itself up against the knowledge of God. And we take captive every thought to make it obedient to Christ. So what that's saying is, we sitting here fighting with the wrong enemy. We sitting here fighting with our family, your spouse, your kids, your co-workers, your boss. You fighting with everybody but with Satan. And when it tells you to take captive of thoughts that are not of Christ, what do you what does taking captive mean? Taking captive means you take it and you take control of it. You, you know, so whenever you have a thought in your head that it's not of God, how do you know it's not of God? Because it's not positive, because it's not a good thought. So whenever you have a thought that it's not of God, that it's a negative thought, like, oh, mira esa vieja, or oh, I cannot stand, or uh, yeah, well, I'm not gonna let him talk to me like that. All those little things, whether minor or big, those are not thoughts of God. You need to take it captive and be like, no, uh, -uh hold up. This is not of God. I, I ain't even going to feed into it. Yo, but Leslie, how are we supposed to fight, right? Well, I'm glad you asked because I got a list of weapons that you can use. And please take notes because, ooh, they good, they good. Number one, the Bible. If you guys know, or if you don't know, I'm going to tell you the Bible is the sword of the spirit. That means you can cut folks up with that. But for that, you got to be in the word. You got to know what's up. You got to stay ready. Like I said last time, you got to stay ready. You think people in the streets, they're like, you know, whenever they get in and, 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 and you know, they got beef with someone. Someone comes up to them, yo, what's up? Duh, 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 duh. They don't got to be like, yo, hold up. I got to go get my gun. Yo, hold up. I got to go get this. <laughs> they stay ready. They stay strapped. So stay strapped. Know your Bible. Know what's up. You got to really learn it. Just like you go to school and you study, you got to read and take tests to see if you really got it down. It's the same thing. Ooh, weapon number two. Now, if you guys know me, you guys know I love doing this one. Weapon number two is worship. A lot of people are like, oh, I worship. I go to church and sing. Nah, it really got to be worship. Like from your heart, worship. You know, if you don't know any songs, make up a song freestyle it do something i'm mean, easy go to pandora put some gospel music and there you go on my way to school oh i'm driving i got my gospel going man you can't tell me nothing you know and i'm just like yes thank you jesus and, and, and you're so good to me even where i'm not where i want to be but thank you lord yes uh, uh, uh. it's all in the condition of your heart acknowledging the fact that yo you are the man there ain't nobody like you I want nobody but you. Weapon number three. Ooh, the name of Jesus. Man, the power it carries. Let me tell you how much power it has. The name of Jesus. You just saying Jesus, even the demons, even Satan has to bow down. They might not want to, but they have. They lose control. They bow down to the king when they hear Jesus. Man, you better walk around saying Jesus all day, every day. That's whenever you pray for something. In the name of Jesus. Heal me in the name of Jesus. Help me, Lord. In the name of Jesus. In the name. You know what? The name God has become generic. You got people now and they say, well, thank you, God. And first of all, oh my goodness, it irks me when people are talking about my God and they don't capitalize the G. What is up with you? Ugh. People nowadays, they talk about God and they're not talking about my God. They are not talking about my God. So you know what? Let's just be specific. Jesus Christ. Lord of Lord, Kings of Kings. Jesus. 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 And ooh, child, this one's a big one for me. Really hits home. My testimony. Y'all still haven't heard my testimony, but the people who know me, man, you guys know. I'm going to try not to tear up, but you guys know. 
I've come a long way. And the only reason and the only way is because of Jesus Christ. The only way. I can't say nothing else but that. There was no therapy. There was no counseling. There was nothing. I should have been those people that you see walking down the street, talking to themselves, talking to the light post. I should be dead. Don't you let that devil come and ruin that. That victory is mine. It has my name on it and I'm going to rep it till the day I die. If you got a testimony, you got to share it with people. And that's something I got to work on because there's so much of it. So many things that I hold intimate in a way. It's not something I'm proud of at all. So I'm working on that. One day you guys will hear my testimony. This, this joy, this, this energy that I have, it comes from Jesus. Just from Jesus. So please, if you have a testimony, guard it. Guard it. Don't let Satan come over here and take it from you. Do not let him take it from you. Arm yourself with these things. That punk is like, yo, I got to go. You know what I mean? It's like going down to the hood and, and you're a blood. You see all these cribs or you're a crib. You see all these bloods. You're like, nah. You might think you bad. You might think. But when you see a crowd like that, nah. You're going to get to step in. I don't care who you are. So that's like God. He puts all these all this protection around us. And even Satan's like, wait, hold up. On to the next. <laughs> Whatever. Thanksgiving. You guys, give thanks to God. Not only when things are going good, but when things are not going too good. When you don't get what you ask for. Because we take it as in like, well, he don't love me. Why this person and not me? You start comparing yourself to other people and then you lose the focus. And what God is doing, what he, really what he's doing when he doesn't give you what you want, he's protecting you from something that you don't understand. And you don't have to understand it. As parents, we don't expect our children to understand why we say no, why we say not right now, why we say this. Don't question me, boy, girl. Don't question me. I know what I'm doing. I'm your mother. Same with God. Just know that he's looking out for us. That's all, that's all we got to know. He's looking out for us. You don't have to understand it. But appreciate it. And say, thank you, Lord. And understand through Thanksgiving, God adjusts our hearts. He's adjusting it. Like, okay. All right. All right, well, look at you passing all these tests with flying colors. Okay. Love. Eh, but that's the other one. Love. Love your enemy. Like, ugh, I ain't going to love that girl. I ain't going to love that. But li li love does not mean go kiss her booty. Love doesn't mean go send him a, a, a bouquet of roses. Love doesn't mean like, ding, 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 ding. Let's dip in, hop together. No. Love means... Whenever somebody do, does you wrong, don't sit here and talk bad about them. Don't sit here and try to take revenge. God says, the vengeance is mine. Give it up to me, baby. You don't even know. I got this. And guess what? Oh, I'm sitting back with popcorn. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Get him, God. Get him. Uh -huh. Get him. Because whatever you do is only going to make you either get in trouble, go to jail, or die. But when you let God do it, man, it's like he bends him over. Now you're going to sit down right here and watch your shine. Ooh! Mm. Yes, that's what I want. Watch me shine. You want to say I will never this? You want to say this? You want to go ahead. Then watch me. Watch me do everything you said I wasn't going to do. Come on now. We all have that attitude. Oh, I'm going to let my haters watch. Do it. But give it to God. Because you'll be here losing sleep, losing yourself, your integrity, just so you can prove a point to someone. That talks back about you, that uh, slept with your man, or that whatever the case is. If you're a child of God, God is not going to let you just sit there, get stepped all over, and not have any consequences. Shoot. God is a real gangster. He don't play when it comes about his. So if he was able to love you, love me, die for us, and everything he went through, because God is a very loving God, but don't you dare play with him. And a personal experience, oh, trust me, I've tried both. I've tried fighting anybody and everybody that even looked at me the wrong way. Shh, listen, listen. Uh-uh. Righteousness. Righteousness. Doing what is good. Doing what is right. In the eyes of God. If you're a righteous person, can't nobody talk about you. I mean, they might want to try to talk about you, but ain't nothing going to stick. 
because they can't genuinely say this person is this person that because it's just not going to stick. Because you got one person saying this because all these other people will be like, nah, but she's this and she's very honest and she's always so nice and she's this and da, da, da. Nah. The next thing you know, your haters are going to be the ones looking so stupid. Big one, faith. Without faith, you can't please God without faith. Even if you do follow all these other ones. Without faith, you can't please God. If God allowed things to happen to test our faith, to see if we're going, if we're going to bend or we're going to like come out fighting. You know what I mean? Come out swinging. Uh, uh. Let's be like these soldiers that people be like, yo, they bad, they bad. You must be rooted and grounded in your faith. Because people going to come and try and cut you up and do all this stuff. And they're not going to be able to. It's like a tree that has this root and it's grounded to the ground deep in there. You could cut the tree off. But them roots, is just going to make that tree grow right back up. That's, that's us. Yes, we might be defeated sometimes. Yes, we might feel this. Yes, people are going to try and come and test us and do all this stuff. But guess what? If you're grounded and you're rooted, oh, you, you're standing forever. You're standing forever. Also, guys, last but not least, pray that his will be done. Lord, your will be done. Lord, if it's your will, let me get this job. Lord, if it's your will, let me have another child. Lord, if it's your will, let me find my husband, my wife. Lord, if it's your will, if it's his will. Because at the end of the day, his will be done. Always. But when you give him that, go ahead, God, your will be done. Oh, that's when he gets excited. He's like, oh, yeah, let's do this. It's like when, you know, when you're going to go on a date or something and you're like, baby, um, what do you want to do? Oh, I don't know, baby. It's whatever you want to do, my baby. It's whatever you want to do, mama. You're like, ooh, yes, baby. Come here. You finna get it tonight. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's what it is. Always try to put yourself, like, especially if you're a parent, you're able to understand God more or his way of thinking because you're a parent. And he's our, he's our father. He wants nothing but the best of us, but he's going to discipline us. And if you're a good parent, you discipline your child. You discipline your child. You show your child love. You, you, and you do test your child. I know I do. Especially after a while I said, I'll be like, Kiki, stop. You're going to fall. Kiana, stop. You're going to fall. Kiana, stop. Don't touch that. Kiana, da, da. And you know what? After a while, I'll be like, go ahead. All right. I'm just going to sit back. I'm going to let it happen. I love her to death, but I'm going to let it happen because she needs to learn. Or sometimes uh, knowing that she loves candy, I'll leave the candy bowl there at her reach, even though she knows she's not supposed to touch it. But I leave it at her reach just to see what she's going to do. Oh, I'm testing her. And if she doesn't get it, I reward her with candy and then some. That's all you got to do. If it's so hard for you to, to to grasp these things, if you're a parent, especially if you're a parent, just think about it like if, if you're a child, you are your child, what would you do? How would you react? I look forward to coming here and talking to you guys because like I said, if there's only one person that I'm touching, only one person that is getting that little nudge, that little tug in their heart. That, that's the beginning that's the beginning so yes go ahead try to fight it but trust me i'm gonna keep praying and you keep praying and that little nudge is gonna be next thing you know you're gonna be in front of a camera too talk, talking to people about jesus and telling him all the good things he's done for you and we the gutter he took you out of at the end of the day our mission as christian as children of god is to save souls and that's my mission. I've made that my mission. So, like I said, I'm using my platform to do so. And even on my social media, I talk about my kids and God. Go oh, and make up. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, I've said this once and I'm going to say it again. If you don't like me talking about my God, Jesus Christ, in any of my social medias, please remove yourself because I will continue to speak his word. I will continue to speak the truth. I will continue to be who I am and who I am is a true child of God. And I would embrace it every second, every minute, any chance I get. 
that being said i love you guys please 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 if anything remember these weapons that you can just armor yourself with for during the week and see how see how everything changes now remember if things get tough tougher that means you're on to something so don't give up don't give up keep doing it keep fighting and just shine baby shine all right guys till next time bye